as I uh, minister in Haiti and travel in the United States, I came to observe three things. One, the darkness is darker than I thought. The light, second, the light of God is greater than I thought. And finally, the spiritual issues in Haiti are also spiritual issues in America. I observe these three things. Second statement that I, that I make is that let us be humble to allow God to use the context of Haiti to bring us all to live in complete obedience to Him. By all I mean Congolese, Haitians, Americans, Brazilians, all of us, Belgians, if all of us, we, let us be humble to allow God to use the context of Haiti to bring all us all to live in obedience, in complete obedience to Him. The third thought that I would like to leave with you, it may not necessarily be something to take action on, but something to reflect on. It is quite possible that God allowed the slavery to happen as evil as it was, to allow a group of people to leave Africa and to become into the Americas so that uh, we are not Muslims today, but we are Christians, so that we can actually go back to these places, and including Muslim Africa, to give them the gospel. So when I think of uh, Haitian history, usually I wonder about that. Maybe the Lord allowed something. That evil happened so that today we are Christians, lots of Christians. And as a church, we can go back to these uh, places and bring the, the gospel to them, quite possible. So these are my parting wisdom to you. Let us be humble and see how God is going to work in our life.